Hello students, this is Professor Laura. Once again, we're here on Unit 11. We're here on Unit 11. Okay, so Unit 11 says, I like to meet friends. For the next class hour, we're going to do pages 84 to 87 and 91 in this particular book. Vocabulary, page 84. Horror, scary book, movie, or a TV show. Game show. This is a show where people play a game. Fantasy. A book, movie, or TV show about something that can't happen, like vampires. Mobile. Type of game played on a smartphone. One of the most famous ones is Pokemon Go. Pop. Music where the musicians sing and dance. Dance. Kind of music that makes you want to dance, usually in a club. Card. Type of game played with cards. Mini series. Short TV show that only runs a few episodes. Usually it's very dramatic. This one is about uh, space aliens. Romantic comedy. A book movie or TV show that is funny and about people falling in love. Board. It's a type of game played on a board with pieces. This is the game that's in this picture is Scrabble. It's a word game. It's very, very fun. News. It's a TV program about what happened in the world today. Classical. A type of music usually played with an orchestra. They usually have violins and oboes and trumpets and, and instruments like that. Guessing. A kind of game where you guess the answer. You usually point to a topic and then you have to answer a question based on that topic. Talk show. A type of show where people talk about something. They sit on a couch or chairs and they talk about something. Jazz. It's the kind of music played with a uh, trumpet and piano and usually the saxophone. Documentary film. A type of film about real things and people. Sort the types of entertainment into the correct categories. Add two more to each category. Horror. Game show. Fantasy, mobile, pop, dance, jazz, card, miniseries, romantic comedy, board, news, classical, guessing, talk show, documentary film. Is the word movie, music, TV program or a game. Now remember, movies and TV programs may have the same word in both places. Okay, so horror is a type of movie or TV program. There is horror music that's played during these movies. Game show is a TV program. Fantasy is a movie or TV program can be fantasy. You can also play a fantasy game. Mobile is a game. Pop is a type of music. Dance and jazz are both music. Card is a type of game. Miniseries is a TV program. Romantic comedy can either be a movie or a TV program. Board is a type of game. News is a TV program. Classical is a type of music. Guessing is a form of a game. Talk show is a TV program and documentary film is a movie. You can also have a documentary TV program, but okay, listen to the dialogue and then read it with a partner. It's rainy again today. I know, I feel blue. Let's do something. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I like to cook. How about you? I enjoy trying new foods. Perfect. 
Let's eat lunch at my place. Rob and Tina are talking about the fact it's raining and they're kind of bored and Tina feels blue, which means she feels a little bit sad. The rain sometimes makes people feel sad. Okay, listen and repeat. It's rainy again today. I know. I feel blue. Let's do something. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I like to cook. How about you? I enjoy trying new foods. Perfect. Let's eat lunch at my place. Let's look at our meaning chunk. Verb plus two plus the verb root or ing. Okay, I like to cook. I enjoy trying new foods. Do you enjoy cooking? Okay, let's take a look at our grammar focus. Infinitives and gerunds, okay, as the objects of verbs. I like to is an infinitive. I like to read. I like to write. Okay. I, I like, and then gerund is ing. So listen and repeat. I like the book. I like to read the book. I like reading the book. To read is the infinitive form of the verb. To plus the verb. Jaren is the verb plus ing. Okay, I like reading. Next one is infinitive, a verb, object, and the object is a noun object. Okay, I want the book. I want to read the book. I want. This is dealing with want. Do you say, oh, I want? Okay, I enjoy books. Enjoy only works with gerunds. I enjoy reading the book. I want to use infinitive. I want to. Enjoy is verb plus ing. Okay, you must know the difference. Like you can do both of them. To the infinitive and the gerund, to read and reading. Uh, want only uses the infinitive, to read. Enjoy only uses the gerund, ing. Okay, memorize this page. This is very important for your test. Okay, let's look at our first round of verbs, infinitive or gerund. They can go either way. Love, like, prefer, hate, try. I love to read. I love reading. I like to read. I like reading. I prefer sushi. Uh, I, I prefer to eat sushi. I prefer eating sushi. I hate to read. I hate reading. I I try to ski. I try skiing. These are the verbs that use both to and ing. Okay. Now we're going to go to ones that use only the infinitive. I want to read. I hope to go to the store. I expect to get an A. I decide to go on a hike. I agree to meet you on Thursday. I learn to play the trumpet. These are all two. So when you see want, there should be a two right after that. I want to, I hope to, expect to, decide to, agree to, learn to. Okay, that's very important. Now, the next box, the blue box, uses the ing. I enjoy skiing. I don't mind getting up early. Mind means you, you uh, don't mind means it's okay. Mind means it's not okay. It's weird, okay. 
dislike. Dis means not. Dislike. I dislike uh, eating onions. Okay. I uh, I stop smoking. I finish reading. I suggest eating sushi. I imagine visiting China. Okay, so memorize the boxes. The, the uh, orange colored ones you can use with both to and ing. The purple ones you can only use with the, with the infinitive to. And the blue ones you can use both kinds. Verb, uh, only the ing, sorry. The, the blue box you can use only the ing. Enjoy, enjoy skiing. Dislike skiing. Memorize your boxes. Okay, let's practice using some of the, these. Okay. Okay, I like taking photos. So do I. Listen and repeat. I don't like reading novels. Neither do I. Neither means we both don't like something. Okay. Okay, so I don't like riding roller coasters. Neither do I. I do Taekwondo. So do I. I like making puzzles. So do I. I like taking road trips. So do I. I like playing ping pong. So do I. I don't like drawing pictures. Neither do I. Okay, so using the ing with these, make ing. So now we're going to talk about what Vicky likes to do and what Martin likes to do. What do they like to do? Uh, Vicky likes to, so we're using the gerund with Vicky. Martin enjoys, so he's using, sorry, she, uh, let, me, let me say that again. Vicky likes the infinitive. She likes to do something. She likes to meet friends. Martin uses the gerund because he's using the word enjoys. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to make friends. Listen and repeat. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to buy clothes. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to drink coffee. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to travel. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to exercise at the gym. What does Vicky like to do? She likes to watch movies. What does Martin enjoy doing? He enjoys watching sports. He enjoys jogging in the park. He enjoys eating pizza. He enjoys playing video games. He enjoys going to the pub. He enjoys collecting coins. Okay, so repeat them. Put me on hold and repeat these again. Remember, likes to. Enjoys uses the ing. Poem. A short work that usually rhymes. Most songs are actually poems. They're actually long poems. Now you're going to write about how you feel. How do you feel? Do you like something? Do you love it? Like, don't mind, don't like, hate. How do you feel about something? So you're going to write your sentences. I don't like washing dishes. Actually, for me, I don't mind washing dishes. I don't really care. Horror movies. I don't like watching, watching, watching horror movies. 
They're very disturbing to me. I don't like them. I don't like eating spicy food. I do like playing card games. I enjoy them. I, I can't say I love them, but I definitely like them. I don't mind taking the bus. It's okay. I love going to the beach. I like listening to jazz, especially at night. It relaxes me. I don't like walking in the rain. Well, actually, I don't mind. It's not a big problem for me, except when it's very heavy rain. I don't like waking up early. I don't like it. it makes me crazy. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't mind reading poems. I like reading poems. I like some poems. Some poems are weird. I love visiting my family. So write down what you love. Do you love it? Like it? Don't mind? Don't mind means you don't care either way. It's okay. It's all right. Don't like or hate it. Write down your feelings. Now, this is important because this might be on the test. You think of at least one thing you like and one thing you don't like for the test. Okay? It's very important you know that. Like, dislike. Okay, classroom activity. Now, we don't have a classroom, but I, I want to give you my answers so you know. All right, you're going to ask questions. Do you like meeting new people? Okay, we're going to do the practice one at the top. Do you love to cook? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you like meeting new people? Yes, I do. I enjoy meeting new people. Do you mind getting up early? I hate getting up early. <laughs> I really hate it. Uh, do you want to see the Taj Mahal? Yes, I do. Do you promise to help others? Yes, I do. Do you enjoy visiting with family? Yes, I do. Do you like to hike? No, I don't. If I do, it's very, very flat. I can't climb anything. I have a bad knee. Do you hate to dance? No, I don't. I enjoy dancing. Do you expect to get an A in English? Yes, I do. Do you love traveling? Yes, I do. Do you dislike cleaning? <laughs> yes, I do. Remember, dislike means you don't like it. I don't enjoy cleaning. It's not my favorite thing to do. Go through there and think of your own answers. Be sure you know what you like and what you don't like. Be sure you understand all of the vocabulary. Okay, you're going to do think of three fun activities. Then you're going to talk about meeting someone, what you're going to do, when you're going to meet them, and who you are going to meet. You can make stuff up. You can say, I'm meeting Lady Gaga for lunch on Friday. Do anything you want. Now, these are the words for an invitation. Would you like to play soccer on Friday? Now, you would if, to accept it, that means uh, that you would enjoy playing soccer. You say, that sounds fun. What time do you want to meet? Now, if you don't want to play soccer on Friday, you say, I'm sorry. I'm busy on Friday. I'm busy. Do you want to see a show on Sunday? Sure, I'd love to see a show. Thanks for asking, but I have another plan. Let's go for a drink after work. Okay, that would be great. I'd like to, but I can't. Okay, so up here you're going to write about what one thing you, you could do, when you would do it, who you would do it with, and whether the person says yes, they agree, or no. So think of three people. You can be your friend. You can be Lady Gaga. You could be Cy. I don't care. Write it down and think about who you'd be going with. Practice inviting. Then practice accepting. Then practice uh, giving excuses. You need to know this for your test. You need to know how to say yes and how to say no politely.
Okay, so we're going to stop there. We're going to go back and do some review here. Okay, when you are giving an invitation, you say, would you like to? Do you want to? And then you're going to talk about what you're going to do, play soccer or see a show. Then you're going to say the day or the time. Uh, would you like to play soccer on Friday? Do you want to see a show on Sunday? Let's go for a drink after work. That means that, you know, you're going to do it later. You know, you can do it in the early evening. And accepting, it sounds fun. What time do you want to meet? Sure, I'd love to see a show or okay, that would be great. Then practice giving uh, excuses. I'm sorry, I'm busy on Friday. Thanks for asking, but I have another plan. And I'd like to, but I can't. For this one, you think of the things you enjoy doing. I like to meet new people. I want to see the Taj Mahal. Now remember, mind means you don't want to do it. I don't mind means it's okay. I do promise to help others. Uh, whether or not you like to hike, enjoy enjoys visiting. Remember, enjoy has an ing. Hate or like all have a chew. Expect to. You can love traveling or you can love to travel. And you dislike cleaning. Now, this, remember like and dislike. Like means it's cool. Dislike means you hate it. So, remember to write down and know what you like to do. What you love to do. What you don't mind, meaning you don't care one way or the other. Something you don't like and something that you hate. You hate it. It's horrible. You don't want to do it. Okay. Remember, like to. It has a to. Like to buy clothes. Like to. Enjoy means there is an ink. This will be on your test. You need to know that what when you use like and when you use enjoy, you use the ing. Okay, I like take ing. I don't like read ing. This is the most important part of this chapter. You have to know the difference among these three boxes. I like to, or I like ing. So anything in the orange box, you can do love to, like to, prefer to, hate to, try to. And it's also an ing. I love hiking. I like hiking. I prefer hiking. I mean, prefer is you like one thing more than you like another. I hate hiking. I will try hiking. Anything in the purple box, you only use a to with. So it's want to, hope to, expect to. Decide to, agree to, learn to, and then the verb. I like to hike. I want to go to France. Okay. I hope to finish this in about an hour. All right. Blue box. Blue box is the gerunds. Enjoy something. Ing. Enjoy. Mind. Mind. Remember is don't like. Don't mind means you don't care. Dislike, stop, finish, suggest, and imagine. I imagine living in Paris. I suggest moving to Pohang for your new job. And so on. Practice making sentences with these and memorize this. This is really important. Which one goes with which part? And the question, do you enjoy? And remember the answer is I enjoy or I like to. Enjoy would be something with an ing. Like would be like to. Know how to answer that question because that's a really, really good test question. Okay, fantastic job, guys. We did the first half of Chapter 11.
For the next lesson, we're going to cover the rest of Unit 11. Thank you and have a great day.